The purpose of this video is to walk through your first Python script and this will be especially helpful if you're beginning Python. Uh, I have Python Win open here. I've displayed the line numbers and I've made the text a little bit larger than normal just so you can see it on the video and it also makes it so it's not quite as intimidating that way. The first few lines of this script start out with a comment and they say actually what we're going to do with this script which is to look at a feature class inside of a geo database and then print the spatial reference of that feature class. In line 4 we import the ArcPy site package. Now if you work with Esri geo processing in your script or looking at Esri data sets this is um, what you're going to put at the top of your script most of the time. So you can get in the habit of using import ArcPy at the top of your scripts. In line 6 we create a string variable. We call this variable feature class but we could really call it anything. What to call the variable is up to us. Uh, what to assign the variable is the path of the feature class we want to look at. And we put that in quotes and that makes it a string in the eyes of Python. And when you make a string, Python Win helps you out by putting that text in yellow uh, so it's easy to spot in your code. In the path we use forward slashes. Uh, this is different from the common backslash that you would see usually when you use a path. The backslash in Python is a reserved character so you have to either use two backslashes or a forward slash and you'll see both in this course just so you can get in the habit of, of knowing that you could use both. Uh, in this case the path is pointing at a file geodatabase that's why you see usa.gdb and inside that file geodatabase is a feature class called state boundaries. This is probably be a polygon or a line feature class. If you didn't know the exact path to get, you could open our catalog and, and highlight the feature class itself, and then you would see uh, in the upper location bar the exact type of path to use. In line 9, we actually call a method on ArcPy, the ArcPy describe method, and this gives us back a describe object. We mentioned in the course material that uh, everything in Python is an object, objects have properties that describe them and methods that are things that they can do. If you wanted to learn more about the describe object you could look in the, the Esri help. In our case the describe object is going to have a, a spatial reference. Now before we move off of line 9 I'd like to point out the parentheses there. So when you call the method arcpy.describe you need to put something inside that parentheses which is the path of the feature class that you want to describe. Now we don't have to type the full path again because we made a variable earlier on to represent that. So this is where you can just put in the feature class variable name and Python will read that as the actual path C colon data etc. So after line 9 we have a describe object. Uh, that describe object has a property which is the spatial reference. So in line 10 that's what we're getting. Uh, DESC is the name of our describe object and dot spatial reference gets us a spatial reference object. <laughs> now we can't print out an object. Uh, if you try to print an object to the interactive window you'll get a bunch of text that is hard to understand. So we actually need to get a property off of this spatial reference object and this property is the name of the spatial reference. So that's why in line 13 we do spatial ref dot name. By this time we've gone down far enough that we've gotten to a string. Spatial ref dot name just gives you back a string with the spatial reference and so that's printable to the interactive window. And uh, now I'm going to run this script. I'll just move this out of the way and behind there you can see the interactive window. It's ready to go. To run a script uh, I just highlight the window that I want to run and I click this running man icon. Uh, the script file name is populated for me. It just comes from this window that's open. And uh, if my script had any arguments that it needed in order to run I could type them in here. Um, separated by spaces. Sometimes you have to supply a path name or a number or something, um, especially if you're going to go ahead later on and make a tool out of this in uh, ArcGIS. But for now we're just going to run the script right out of Python Win, so there's no need to do any arguments. And I'll just click OK and wait for this to run. And the interactive window prints out geographic, meaning that this particular feature class has a geographic coordinate system.